Good morning students. I am Amos Michael teaching physics in Mount Zion Metropolitan High Secondary School. I welcome you to the online physics class standard 8. So this is the continuation of the previous class. So in the previous class we learned about pressure exerted by the liquids and in this class we are going to see about the pressure exerted by the gases. So all the gases exert pressure on the walls of their containers in which they are kept. So look at this diagram. These moving particles are nothing but molecules. So these molecules are taken in a container and at a normal temperature these molecules will be at random motion. They, they will collide with the walls of the container and also they collide with each other. So, when the fast moving gas molecules collide with the walls of their container, they exert a force on the walls of the container. So, this force acting on per unit area produces a gas pressure. So, let us see the example for the gas exert pressure. So, why bicycle tube gets inflated? When air is filled into a bicycle tube by using a pump like this, the tube gets inflated. What do you mean by inflated? That is, it gets bigger in size. Due to the pressure exerted by the collision of gas molecules with the walls of the tube, so inside the tube, we fill the air, isn't it? So, due to the pressure exerted by the collision of gas molecules with the inner, uh, inner walls of the rubber tube, it gets inflated. This air pressure in the cycle tube makes the bicycle tire feel hard. What is the second example? Why balloon gets inflated? When air is filled into a balloon with our mouth, the balloon gets inflated, that is, it gets bigger in size. Since, since it has a stretchable wall, high pressure exerted by the air inflates the balloon. Look at the man, he blow the balloon by inserting air from his mouth. So, since the balloon has a stretchable wall, the high pressure exerted by the air molecules inflates the balloon. Atmospheric pressure. What do you mean by atmosphere? We know that the earth is surrounded by a layer of gases or by a cover of air. We call it as atmosphere. Due to gravitation of air, the air has weight, we all know that. Since the atmosphere consisting of tremendous amount of air, it that is the atmosphere has also enormous weight. This weight of the atmosphere exerts pressure on the surface of the earth and on all the objects of the earth including ourselves. So this pressure is known as atmospheric pressure. Look at this diagram, the atmosphere is made up of different layers starting from troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere and it extends up to 30 kilometers from the surface of the earth. So, as we go up in the atmosphere from the surface of the earth, the atmospheric pressure goes on decreasing. So, as the altitude increases, look at the diagram, consider it this diagram as a mountain, as we go up in the atmosphere, as we go up in the mountain from the surface of the earth, the atmospheric pressure goes on decreasing. So, as the altitude increases, the atmospheric pressure decreases. This is because as we go up in the atmosphere, the weight of the air above us goes on increasing. So, due to which the pressure also goes on decreasing. So, the atmospheric pressure on the top of the high mountain will be very much less than at its base. So, what is the atmosphere? So, in this picture, you are seeing the cross-sectional view of the atmosphere. This atmosphere has a different layers. and So, the atmospheric pressure on the surface of the earth is 1 not 1.3 kilopascals. So, on the surface of the earth, that means at the sea level, the atmospheric pressure is maximum. This is because 
the column of air above as is tallest at the sea level and one more information barometer is the instrument used to measure the atmospheric pressure in the atmosphere we imagine a unit area of earth surface and a very column of air so standing on the earth surface we imagine an area which is having 1 meter square and if we if we imagine the column of air extends from the surface of the earth to the, the atmosphere then the weight of the air present in a tall column of air standing on 1 meter square area is equals the atmospheric pressure so the common unit for expressing the measuring atmosphere pressure is mm of hg hg stands for mercury the atmospheric pressure on the surface of the earth that is at the sea level is 760 mm of mercury or 76 cm of cm in centimeter 76 cm of mercury we can call it as 760 mm of mercury or 76 cm of mercury so one atmosphere is equal to 1013 millibars so as there is no air in the outer space astronauts have to wear pressurized space suits which create the same force on their body as the air pressure on the earth that's why they are wearing special suits like this in order to maintain the same amount of pressure exerted on the earth so here we are going to see an activity to show the existence of atmospheric pressure a glass tumbler is filled with with water and covered with a piece of thick card we press the card so hard that there is no air in the glass tumbler keeping the card in position with one hand we invert the glass tumbler then the hand supporting the card is then withdrawn slowly so what we are observe is the piece of card does not fall through the tumbler is full of water and it exerts a pressure on the card in the downward direction but the card does not fall because the atmospheric acts on the card in the upward direction and it holds the card in the pressure place that means the atmosphere atmospheric pressure is greater than the uh, pressure exerted by the water inside the glass tumbler so from that from this experiment or activity we come to know that the atmospheric pressure acting on the card is greater than the downward pressure on the water on the card so drinking straw drinking straw works on the existence of atmospheric pressure look at this diagram the lower end of the drinking straw is dipped into the soft drink when we suck at the upper end of the straw with our mouth the pressure of the air inside the straw and in our mouth is reduced but the pressure but the pressure acting on the surface of the soft drink is equal to the atmospheric pressure so the greater atmospheric pressure acting on the surface of the soft drink pushes the soft drink up the straw into a mouth okay syringe syringe is also works on the existence of atmospheric pressure what is a syringe it's a plastic tube filled with a nozzle and a piston for sucking in a syringe may be fitted with a hollow needle for giving injections when the nozzle of the syringe is dipped in a liquid and its position is withdrawn that is the greater atmospheric pressure acting on the surface of the liquid pushes the liquid up into the syringe dropper dropper is also works on the existence of atmospheric pressure when we press the rubber ball of the dropper by keeping its nozzle dipped in the liquid air present in the glass tube and the rubber ball is seen to escape in the form of bubbles so due to this air pressure inside the glass tube and the rubber ball is very much reduced when we release this rubber ball of dropper the much greater atmospheric pressure acting on the surface of the liquid that is here the atmospheric atmospheric pressure will act on the surface of the liquid pushes the liquid up into the dropper tube if we move the filled dropper from a container of a liquid and press it its rubber bulb slowly then 
the drops of liquid will come out of the nozzle of the dropper tube. So, same principle is involved in filling of ink in a fountain pen. Next, the rubber sucker. The rubber sucker stays attached firmly to a flat surface due to the atmospheric pressure. The much greater atmospheric pressure acting on the rubber sucker from outside fixes the rubber sucker firmly onto the flat surface. So, this is what the atmospheric pressure. The greater atmospheric pressure is acting on the rubber sucker from outside and therefore it made the rubber sucker to stick on firmly on the flat surface. Rubber suckers are usually used to hold objects together with the help of suction. For example, the rubber sucker su for example, rubber suckers are used to hold glass table tops onto the wooden frames of table. That's all my dear students. I hope you have, you would understand the concepts clearly. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.